Um, ladies and gentlemen, when we have something, um, I just want to relate difference of two squares to difference of two cubes. So if I had x squared minus 9, you guys hopefully understand that whenever you have a squared minus b squared, that's a minus b times a plus b. Does everybody say that? So if I have x squared minus 9, everybody, I think, usually, typically, has this understanding that they can factor that out into x minus 3, x plus 3, unless they're talking to the person next to them, which then might get, bring in some confusion. But does everybody kind of see this point in this case, right? So therefore, we can generally say that x is equal to a and 3, yeah, 3 is equal to b. Does that make sense? Okay, guys, we'll have time to go over everything. Does that make sense on those? So basically, what I did to find my a and my b is I took the square root of my first term. So the square root of x squared is a, and the square root of b and the square root of 9 is 3. That's how I found out what a and b were. a, b. So when we look at this problem up here, the first thing that I want to do is identify my a and my b. Again, if we're looking at this as a cubed plus b cubed, what number raised to the third power gives me x cubed? Well, that's kind of easy. a equals x, right? I'm sorry, these were also, we're solving these equal to 0. b cubed is 27. What number raised to the 27th, what number raised to the third power gives me 27? Right? You guys can think of it like this. Right? 3 raised to the third power is 27. So now that I know what a is and I know what b is, I'm just going to apply my formula. So my difference, uh, this is the sum of two cubes. So it basically works like this. a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Right? So now we know a is x and b is 3. So just plug everything in. Now remember, this was set equal to 0, right? So does everybody see what I did? Kind of? A little bit? So now we need to um, solve. Well, we have the zero product property. So we say x plus 3 equals 0, so x equals negative 3. That one was easy. x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 0. Crap, we have another quadratic. So we got to think. Um, all right, well, to solve this, I could use factoring. What two numbers multiply to give me 9, add to give me negative 3? I have an issue here, right? It's not going to work. So um, when you are, whenever you're doing the difference of two cubes, I'll let you guys know, these solutions negative. All right, these are going to be negative for us. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to um, figure out these solutions using a real number system. So we could either solve these by completing the square, which we've learned how to do, or we can solve them by using the quadratic formula. I would prefer 9 times out of 10 to do the quadratic formula. So um, x equals opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a, a, b, and c. x equals opposite of b, which would be positive 3, plus or minus square root b squared, which is going to be a positive 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 9, all over 2 times a, which is 1. x equals 3, plus or minus, let's see, 4 times 9 is, um, Negative 4 times 9 is going to be a negative 36. So negative 36 plus that is going to be a negative 27 divided by 2. Remember the square root of negative 27? You can take out the negative 1 and write that as an i. You could also break out the 27 as the square root of 9 times 3. The square root of 9 is 3. So we can rewrite that as 3i times the square root of 3. So my final answer, I can write as x equals 3 plus or minus 3i times the square root of 3 divided by 2, 
Or we could also break that up and write 3 halves plus or minus 3i squared of 3 over 2. Yes, it's a lot of work.